Heading into a meeting with prosecutors before his arrest, presidential hopeful Felix Maradiaga was defiant, saying he'd dedicated his life to the pursuit of freedom and wouldn't back down. Despite everything that may come our way, the regime is the true minority compared to a nation that wants work, a nation that wants freedom, peace and justice, and that's what we're doing. Maradiaga is accused of terrorism and backing international sanctions against the Nicaraguan government, but his supporters say the allegations are part of an intensifying crackdown on dissent and efforts by President Daniel Ortega to eliminate any challenges for his office. Maradiaga's lawyer says the opposition politician has been beaten in custody. A strong blow with a fist in the face, then another blow, two blows in Maradiaga's face, and as well as that, there are the acts of aggression carried out by the police when they were taking us out of the vehicles. Maradiaga is the fourth potential presidential candidate to be detained in recent days. On Tuesday, police also arrested Juan Sebastián Chamorro, who in February accused police of using surveillance to intimidate him. Last week, his cousin, Cristiana Chamorro, was put under house arrest, just hours after she announced plans to run against the president in November's election. It sparked protests outside her home. Last month, her brother's independent news outlet was raided by police. Another candidate, Arturo Cruz, was detained on Saturday for allegedly conspiring against Nicaraguan society. The detentions are being called a clear infringement of the freedom of expression. All of this is a desperate attempt by the dictatorship to make us give up the electoral road to peacefully resolve this deep economic and social crisis that they themselves have provoked. The Chamorro family is deeply entwined in Daniel Ortega's political career. Cristiana's mother, Violeta, became president in 1990, ousting Ortega after his first stint in power. Since his return to office in 2007, rights groups have accused President Ortega of authoritarian rule and leading the brutal suppression of anti-government protests in 2018, in which more than 300 people were killed. Ortega and his allies say they're defending Nicaragua's sovereignty against hostile foreign influence and sanctions. Now protests are banned and most opposition parties disqualified. Ortega and his wife, who's his vice president, have been sanctioned by the US and the European Union. The top US diplomat on Latin America, Julia Chung, has called for international action, saying the latest arrests are further proof of Ortega's disregard for democracy. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.